Everybody has a handful of functions that they use on a regular basis. And the people at Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that they were going to take a group of the most commonly used functions and label those as the basic functions. So let me do this. I want to find out the sum of this column here, MCAS science scores for these six kids. I'm going to come to the Home tab, click on Home, and activate my Home ribbon. And then way, way, way over here in the editing group, I do have my auto sum button. If I click on that, what the software does is it figures which values are the most likely to be included in this function. I hit enter and the sum of this column is 1458. It gets a little better than that. So let me do this. Let me highlight this and do my control Z. Don't undo. And instead of going way out there to the editing group, I'm going to come up here to formulas. And the reason I like this is because these are easier to see. So in the formulas tab in my function library, I do have my auto sum button. And if you click on the little down arrow below that, and there's a similar down arrow, smaller, in the home tab, but you can now see the sum, average, count numbers, max and min. These are the basic functions that Excel has included. And it does get even more exciting with Excel 2007. If I take the values that I want, say, to average, I highlight them, and I include an extra cell. I come over here to my Auto Sum button and click on the down arrow, and I come down here to Average. And what's going to happen now is, is in one click instead of two, I'm going to have Excel perform this basic function analysis. And there it is, 243. So you can actually indicate the cells you want to be the subject of your basic function and the target cell where you want the answer to go, and Excel will just drop the answer there in for you. It gets better than that. So let me do Control-Z. Don't. Let's just say that I've got all of these uh, MCAS scores, and I want to find the average for all three groups. I can select all three groups, leave myself a location for the average to be. I come up here to Auto Sum, and I go to Average, and it calculates the average for all three columns again in one click. That's pretty good. I could, if I was so inclined, I could put another column in here, and then I could find out the average for Francis Stone's scores here, and I could do that for all of the rows with one click. And that's, that's a pretty, pretty uh, interesting development. So let me escape out of here. I'm going to just do Control Z, Dolt. And there is a way to actually check this without performing any functions at all. And I'm going to simply select this range of data. And any time that you select two or more cells, Excel will calculate the auto functions for you, the basic functions that you would see in the auto sum group. And way down here to the left of the zoom slider underneath the scroll bar, way down here in the status bar, you can see the results of some of those calculations. So in the data that I selected, the average is 243. The count was six. That means that I was looking at six sets of values. And the sum was 1458. For me, the count is very important because I enter a classroom full of data. And what I do is I will highlight the ID numbers. And I look at the count. The count tells me how many uh, sets of data that I enter, and then I check that against the item analysis and see how many scantrons were scored. That is a very efficient way for me to check to see that I haven't made any mistakes. If you want to customize the status bar, that's pretty simple. You just come down here and you right click on the status bar. And in this box, this group that's second from the bottom, any items that are checked are visible. So let's just say that um, you don't need the count, but you needed the max. And you can figure out whatever you want to be using here. I click off here, 
And now you can see that my average is still 243. My max is now in place instead of the count, and my sum is still the same.